we heard from Chief last night again. I thought he had gone hard enough the week before, but this is what Chief had to say last night. Is it not a given, Wolf, that chippers that aren't good enough to play forward play back? It's pretty much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't get any further back than the goal square. That's where they sent that, Jipper. <laughs> <laughs> he's chipped up to the mat. Oh. <laughs> um, Spud Kevin. reckons he kept you goalless. Yeah. Well, Spud's got a vivid imagination. <laughs> one, of the, one of the few weapons that he has. Did he not keep you goalless? No. You sure, Chief? I'm sure. A lot of blokes that did keep me goalless. No, they were. Spud wasn't they were. one of them. No, oh, they Spud were. was never one. Please. How big a bag I could have played on one leg and kicked seven on Spud. <laughs> <laughs> he was a crab. Oh. <laughs> Spud reckons, Spud, this is what Spud's rolling with, yes. six times... It was a crab. What do they call him? A uh, soft-shell mud crab, Spud. <laughs> and uh, we just used to feast on him. It was hard not to giggle when he jogged down to the goal square. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. <laughs> Jim. What are we dealing no. with? This well, is your great mate, the Chief. Yeah, you do the show Sunday nights. That happened because the Friday rub, Sam and we have all nominated Chief for the Elf Brown. Now, Ch- Chief, as you know, will, is a very good chance to win that prestigious award. Gaz, you've won it. Uh, Damo. Damo's won it. Nearly won the um, Astra Award, Chief. Yeah. No, he, he came eighth, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, eighth. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's close. But that's why we need to get behind the Chief, and I'm, I'm happy to take that criticism on board. But I've got Astra as we speak. Before the day's out, I have kept Chief goalless twice, and right. I need to know the game okay, because I I went with that strongly because I believed it to be the and case. Chief and said, I, "That's what you've told now, us." I think he was kept goalless seven times in his career, and I said, "I'm not blaming Trump, but I think I did it twice." <laughs> <laughs> but I want Astor to prove it, and I, and I'll accept it if I'm wrong. All right, well, well I, I will be all over that when Ash comes down the highway. Well, he hasn't got far to come. He comes from Point, Point Cook. Cook. No, so uh, he better come here a bit earlier because I need that. But as the chief getting back to the Alf Brown Award. Mm. You, I think Patrick Keane well, saw Shane Crawford in the President's meeting last night. As I said, he was with us, guys. And oh, did he? Patrick had a, a heap of people around. He was mm. talking about Alf Brown. and The number one award in the media, football media for the year. And Crawford got involved in it because he started giggling. He was, not giggling, but he was serious. They were all serious. They were actually putting the nomination uh, forward. Word came through that we may have missed, like, missed out by half an hour. What, getting but, his nomination yeah. in? Yeah. Oh, no. that, that was the latest thing I heard. <laughs> But uh, no, Patrick Keane believes that, uh, even though it's late, that it's very um, unusual yeah. that you get nominated by five or six people. And that's what we think about that's the Chief. I, I won't tip into Jason's uh, vitriol against me in my playing ability, or, or lack of. Um, I like Chief, and I like him a well, lot. we don't. But the facts are, <laughs> I did no. keep him goals twice, and I'll, uh, I'll swear by that. And I'll... As Chua needs to uh, come good well, with the stats. I'd ask you this, Bud, because I remember when you, in your great playing days, you used to come down here or take on the Cats at uh, Moorabbin, and basically neither yourself or Gary Ablett had any impact on the game at all because you just punched on for four quarters and that was all that happened. And that, you know, w- w- was just I used to look at it and go, look at Spud. He's just taking it to this bloke. Did you do the same to the Chief or did you no, go well, a different way with the Chief? That's a disappointing part about the Chief. I, I actually thought he was a good bloke. Um, when I played at him, I thought he was super professional. But now that I've worked with him for seven years, mm-hmm. just he's a pig of a man. <laughs> he, he doesn't like people. Now he's rude. Up. Now we're warming up. But I can't so say why didn't too you punch much. On with him, well, but... I can't say too much because I've nominated him for the Elf Brown Award. But you know, in brackets there, now and again, he, he can let a lot of people down. No more than himself. You know, the, the way he looks. Let's face it. You know, he would. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, like a howler monkey <laughs> and, a, and a gibbon, as uh, Samuel uh, said oh, last night. No. He's not the ugliest man you'd ever see. Because when on side on with Chief, oh, he actually doesn't need to wear a, a cap. Like I've got a cap on today because his brow goes four <laughs> inches past his oh. eyes. Oh. And those little um, <laughs> sultanas for eyes. Him. Those <laughs> little sultanas for eyes sort of are there. And he, oh, he actually no. walks around thinking, I'm Mel Gibson, Paul Newman, <laughs> all wrapped up into one. He's... Uh, He's been hit with the ugly stick. The now, Spud, before we let go, a lot of people always, uh, you know, when you get pulled up by people in the street, they go, did it actually happen that down here in a game against Geelong, Spud and Gary Ablett got into a wrestle before the game even started and then the game started with them still wrestling. Geelong got a clearance out of the centre, kicked it long into the goal square and hit you. the ball hit you on the back of the head. Just down there where the Swans players are kicking out the new players' stand. That actually uh, occurred. At the cryo end, it actually happened and... Um, it was my turn oh, no. for Gary to use my head as a speed ball on that occasion, oh, no. and uh, he could go a little bit, but that was good because he wasn't focusing on the ball. And the ball hit you in the head after On the back clearance. of the scone, and I uh, grinned and said, Gaz, <laughs> you've lost the, the pot again, mate. And I, I don't believe this, but I'll have to read it. Read it. It says, here's Chief Stats from every game. This is Adrian Romer. From uh, at St Kilda. Kept goalless against the Saints three times. Oh. Spud only played in one of them. Oh, no. 
know, Spud. I don't know. That, no, really that wouldn't be right, true, Spud. Spud surely. No. No, well, Chua is going to bring the exact heat on that uh, particular issue, so we need to get to that. Now, what, uh, sorry, Damon. What did Brian Taylor kick on you in your first game? Uh, BT... It tells us it was seven. It was seven. And, uh, he he reckons he made you cry. He made you physically <laughs> mauled me. No, I, I, I must admit, it was about my third game. Steve Perry, he's great, mate. Still yes. his great, mate. Had come over to St Kilda at half time. BT had kicked three on me, and it uh, was very physical. And I was a bit intimidated by Brian at that stage. He's a little bit bigger, and I played me about my third game. He had two seasons at it, so wasn't ready for it. But Steve Perry came in at half time. Said, "Look, I know BT pretty well. Uh, next time he goes for the ball, give him a nice old ear massage. He'll yep. go to water." Yep. Well, he's marked the ball. And I've given me best one behind his ear roll. <laughs> He didn't flinch uh, and uh, kicked the goal. And what I wasn't ready for was the big uh, legs of ham that went round my neck <laughs> and had me down. And he took all the air out of me before I could actually get my senses to actually start laying into him. And I was gone. I did. I thought the, the Richmond runner, I'm not sure what his name was, but he saved my life. But um, I vowed and declared that that was the last time because I went back to, to Ballarat. The big briser. The Bungaree pub. And they said, how'd you go? And I said, look... Um, BT kick seven, because the stats don't lie, but uh, I actually uh, made him earn them. And uh, up on the tally, the winners, was there BT publicly mauling me. <laughs> and all my mates at the Bungaree pub said, yeah, that, that doesn't look like <laughs> you mauling BT. But, um, yeah, I'm, I made sure I'll never happen that uh, with Brian again. What's this conference happening here? Well, Chew has walked in. <laughs> he's, he's kicked Mrs. Chew out of the spa early this morning because he likes to get a pre-game one. He does. He does. And, uh, Especially when North are playing exactly, on that day. Because he doesn't know if he might get one afterwards. No. <laughs> and, uh, a spa, that he is. Will, that is. And uh, he's wandered in. He's just come flying in here. And Spud's, Spud's just abandoned him. our conversation. Just grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and dragged he's him in here. Either. Now, Spud, yep. just before we get on to some big footy issues, you got handed the stats, yourself and the Chief... By the two man, you, you said, said you've kept him goalless twice. You said twice. Chief said not on your life. Never you kick seven on your on one leg. Well, I'm a little bit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was twice, but definitely once in '92 in round nine. And I remember that vividly. It was it was pretty wet, and uh, it was out at Waverley. Doesn't matter if it's wet. Yeah, I know. But I'm just trying to explain that Don't it, it was still a pretty good performance. Don't be uh, by, by you, me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because. Um, Plugger kicked eight that day. Oh, well, and uh, I know it was wet, but Dunstall uh, <laughs> kicked zero. <laughs> now, 1985, 1985, I actually started on the Chief. Right. And uh, that's when he had a full head of hair. I thought, who's this uh, fat little sort of number 19 running around? Mm. Dermot started to get on top. So I actually, uh, I remember starting on Chief, went on to Dermot. Oh, so you took the more dangerous option? More, he was on fire that day, Dermot, <laughs> at the top of his game. The Chief actually kicked one, so I thought oh, maybe yeah. that was ad-libbing a little bit for me. But, well, you kept you going, goal, but the one goal that uh, he did not kick on me in the second half Joe was uh, Milan Faletic. Uh, oh, or it was either Daryl Cowie. Big oh, Daryl Cowie. So uh, the Chief. Then in 89, he kicked one. And I thought 86 as well, he kicked one. So oh, I'd he's going to the ones. <laughs> so I've just, um, what, what, I have put a little bit that, of mayo on it. Going on that, I think you owned him. Well, no, he, 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 look, I'll let me put my hand up. Oh, he was really very hard. He kicked, well, uh, he kicked nine on me. One, no, he did. He kicked a couple of big bags on me, but I touched him up just as much as he ch- touched me up. <laughs>